Uh, but guys, will you type in uh, the last story I saw was New Mexico. Prison guards uh, uh, run security at, at, at elementary school. Just I want to show viewers that we're watching on TV. All over the country, most states have passed laws to keep the prisons at 90% occupancy if the companies will build more prisons. That's our jobs. They release the violent offenders because they, they've declassified that keeps crime going. And then they put nonviolent offenders in there. And who are they getting ready to put in there? I'm going to commit the crime here on air in just a minute. But first, uh, first, go to Infowars.com forward slash show if you want to watch the video feed. This is out of CBS News. 14-year-old at center of NRA t-shirt controversy now facing possibility of one year in jail. And it says, NRA, we must defend our rights. Yeah, yeah, scroll down and then click on the uh, image there at the bottom, the uh, bottom link there, and it'll actually show the photo. Yeah, just click on that. Okay, fantastic. There it is. Protect your rights, NRA. And the cops showed up and said, take that shirt off. And, and the school rule said you could have shirts with slogans, just not that. And he said, no, it's my First Amendment to defend my second and the cop arrested him, and the judge is going forward, throwing the book at him, one year in prison, not following a police officer's order. You forgot one word, lawful, like drop that gun uh, or uh, let that woman go when you're in the commission of a crime. It's official oppression what that cop did, but he'll go to the lawyers who are part of a corrupt guild, most of them. Got to find a lawyer that's a patriot. They're out there. I've got lawyers that are patriots. And they will lead you up and suck money out of you and get you a misdemeanor when they know full well they file an official oppression. They file a First Amendment lawsuit. That cop will be owned. But no one will tell the parents. No one will tell the young man, we're going to get a hold of him and we're going to do that. And we win lawsuits, by the way. We're not litigious. But when it comes to our freedom, we are bulldogs and we do not apologize. I'm a selfish man for the future of my family, and for that I do not apologize. But I'm a superstitious man. And if a bolt of lightning should strike my son, or a police officer should shoot him in the head, then I will blame some of the people in this room, and then I will not forgive. All right, let's get back to uh, what I was saying there, ladies and gentlemen. This is how modern slavery works. I see this all the time, where, where I mean, here's another article. Right here, we're going to play a news clip of that in a minute. Slayton police arrest woman after request to see warrant. This is outside uh, Lubbock. And they come to the house to question the 11-year-old. And she said, may I please see a warrant? And they said, oh, you want to play it that way? And arrested her. A false arrest. And it turned out there was no warrant. So there you go. So you ask for a warrant, you go to jail in the new free country. Insane bong and pipe ban signed by Florida including some wooden pipes, but let's expand on this. Governor Rick Perry signs Merry Christmas into law to say that people at commencement speeches are allowed to say Merry Christmas or Christmas trees are allowed to be in public schools. Folks, the First Amendment says Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting free exercise thereof. Government has no business telling individual people what they say at a commencement, but you hear about them losing their... Diplomas and stuff are saying, I, I give the praise to Jesus Christ. But first, let me commit the crime on air as we go out to break. In Florida, they have banned pipes. Felonies if you're caught with a pipe, ladies and gentlemen, including most wooden types. There's a specific exemption for some. So here I am on air with a corncob pipe like General Douglas MacArthur smoked. Tell you, pipes are, uh, that's how I started smoking cigarettes. I quit smoking a long time ago, but because my dad smoked a pipe and I'd sneak off and smoke it. But, and so did my grandpa. It's always smelled so good, that that cherry tobacco or that, that vanilla. This here, I remember my uh, grandpa had some of this. Royal Cherry Cavendish. I sent the guys out to do it. Let me commit to crime right now. Here on air. In Florida. This is a crime, ladies and gentlemen. Mmm, forgotten how good a pipe is. I'm gonna load my bowl a little bit better. And when we come back, I'm gonna smoke some more out of this illegal pipe in Florida. Pro Pure is introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. This is the Pro One 
by ProPure. You wanted it, you got it. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals all in one filter element. It cuts out the acid derivative of fluoride. It is the only one that does it and out of the gates we have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. This is a revolution against the tyrants. They love putting the toxic acid base of fluoride into your water. They love the fact that it's an adjuvant supercharging the trace Prozac in the water and the hormones and the other chemicals. By cutting out fluoride, you cut out the turbocharger in all the poison being artificially introduced into your body. This is what I use. It's a win-win. You get a high-quality product at the lowest price. You support the InfoWar. Get your Pro Pure with the new Pro One filters today at InfoWarStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. We take you back now live to Clandathry, where our forces are battling the brain bugs of the New World Order. Mm. Again, thank you for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to give the phone number out in the next segment, uh, and then I'm going to finish up with the NSA news, and then get back into uh, your phone calls and then all the rest of the news I've not gotten to yet. Um, Obama's preparing to shut down what's left of our power plants and infrastructure, another loving uh, gift of Vladimir Putin, Put, as Bush liked to call him. Uh, Vladimir Putin says, West arming Syrian rebels who eat human flesh. And then they go on the bottom of the article and go, actually, they do like to eat human flesh, but what's wrong with that? I mean, if you're not a friend of Al-Qaeda, you're not an enemy of the Tea Party, right? Unbelievable information. So we're going to continue breaking that down. We're going to look at what uh, has unfolded over in uh, Turkey. Because that ties into people wanting basic liberty. And we are going to be taking your phone calls. You know, I haven't got into Obama launches total takeover uh, of the media system yet. Again, that's from February 8th, 2011. How, how long ago was that, guys? That's about two years ago, isn't it? A little more than two years ago. And then we have the related uh, story there. Flashback, Obama launches total takeover of media system. I guess Kurt has now, Kurt has now written another article uh, on that same subject. Well, good job, Kurt. Obama launches total takeover of media system. And then again, if you click on that, it will uh, take you to our original article. Actually, I have it up here on screen uh, that goes over uh, all of that. Just so you understand, it's not just they're going to watch you now. Part of watching you means they're going to talk to you. And they're going to make sure you respond. And that's all part of the uh, national census going from every 10 years to every year. And then for some businesses, every month, there is no law. But, hey, you better do what, uh, what the Godfather says or sayonara, capiche. So be a good paisan and bow down to the New World Order and collectively, politically, spiritually, open your wrist up because the New World Order is thirsty and they like the blood of free people. So, so do what you're told. Submit to authority. That's what made America great. That's why the new American flag is a ostrich uh, sticking its head uh, into the sand, my friends. So that is just some of what is coming up after the break. Uh, but, but, but never fear, D.C. residents can... Apply for a pot card. See, that's one thing. Like, like the Democrats will take your guns and will get rid of your sovereignty. And will try to abort your children. And then the Republicans will act like they don't want to abort your children. Make sure that happens. And they'll get rid of your borders too. But 
uh, act like they're not. And uh, But then they'll try to throw you in jail for pot charges because, well, you know the big prison companies openly lobby both parties uh, to build more private prisons with taxpayer money, but to make the profits uh, private and the cost public. Uh, and uh, then they got to throw you in there. I mean, this is how slavery has been reinstituted. So I'm going to finish up with those reports and play a clip of 14 year old at the center of the NRA t shirt controversy now facing possibility of one year in jail uh, for not taking his shirt off uh, that said, We must defend our rights. Imagine the irony. The actual T-shirt says, protect your right. Now, if they have it up on screen, I can see it. Imagine the irony of the cop saying, take that shirt off. And he said, no, there's no dress code against having things that aren't profane here in the school. And this is my right. Take it off. You know, get in there, Moses, and build me bricks to make the pyramids. I mean, that's really what it goes back to. It's a lawful order of Pharaoh. It's a lawful order of King John to, you know, give him everything you produced. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News. And over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones radio show live as it happens. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show. Ladies and gentlemen, I am your host, Gandalf Jones. Actually, if you're a uh, radio listener, you can uh, just try to figure out what I'm talking about. But if you're a TV viewer, I am smoking a corncob pipe. And many uh, pipes, including many types of wooden pipes, have been outlawed in Florida. It is a felony. You've got to fill up all the private prisons uh, with people. You've got to because the big private prison corporations on record are in the top 10 of lobbying groups giving hundreds of millions a year to federal and state governments to have taxpayers pay for new prisons, which then they service and run at giant profits and the prisoners work. Uh, inside of the prisons, building everything you can imagine, not just furniture and license plates, but electronics, uh, customer service phone calls, you name it, for 25 cents an hour or less. And then good old boys sitting around in the town wonder why they have no job. They're like, make them prisoners work and don't let them have air conditioner. They got hot tubs and color TV in there. I've got a cousin who was in the army and then he was worked for the post office and then he triple dipped and for like a decade went to work for uh, the state prisons and he retired over it. He said, it's crazy. Uh, it's in the summer, it's 120 degrees in there and it makes people 10 times more violent and the way these buildings are built, no breeze comes through. It is torture. And, and I've heard people on the radio, don't have air conditioning for these prisoners. Yeah, torture them. That's going to be you they're going to put in there. The, the, the violent criminals run the government. It's come out the State Department this year alone hired 2,000 felons. A bunch of them aggravated. Police departments are hiring aggravated felons. And it's always a mistake, but nobody gets fired. They want aggravated felons, period. That's how all this works, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, here's the article. Former Tea Party governor makes possession of a bong a felony. Infowars.com, and we have the uh, different newspapers there, the Miami papers and others are reporting on the same thing. But, I mean, even if it is for marijuana, I mean, give me a break, ladies and gentlemen. Alcohol is so much worse than marijuana, and I'm not even a marijuana guy. I'm more of an alcohol type guy, but I'm even getting away from that. And that's right, J.R.R. Tolkien and, and was a big pipe smoker, so J.R.R., don't, if you ever come back from heaven... Or Douglas MacArthur, don't go to Florida. Uh, great state, by the way. Great beaches, a lot of nice people, and, and more marijuana than you can shake a stick at, which is the plan. Got to fill those private prisons up. Got to have an economy. Um, here's another one. Police trained to treat Keystone XL protesters as terrorists. Now, whereas I don't like these George Soros-funded people 
trying to shut down our pipelines just so George Soros and Berkshire Hathaway on record can make all this money shipping the oil out of Canada via trains they own out to the West Coast and then to China. That's how business works. Use government here to shut down industry and then fund them, but still they're not terrorists. And in, and in the training manual, alternate links to, they call them terrorists and talk about how horrible it is to protest. Why, why don't our police move to Turkey? where protesting isn't allowed. Here's another one. Uh, video game cast Tea Party and Patriot groups as enemy 